Our host address is 20.100.55.3 with a 26-bit mask. So 255.255.255 is 24 binary bits. To get to 24 to 26, we add 2, giving us 192. So our last octet is 192. If we tick down 2, we tick across the top 2, telling us that our subnets are going up in increments of 64. We can start off with a zero subnet and then start adding up in increments of 64. Refer to the appendix explaining how all of this works because in binary when we translate to decimal it doesn't always appear to make sense. We'll eventually start adding up hosts in the second octet and we know if we keep Continuing counting, we'll hit 20.100. We've obviously missed out quite a large amount of subnet addresses. If we write them out from starting from subnet zero, it would take quite some time. Again, we're adding up in increments of 64, and we're looking for host 55.3. So 20.100.55.3 looks like it's going to be in the 20.155.0 subnet. So we have the answer. We, we need go no further unless they ask us which is the first host or last host or broadcast address for that subnet. Take one away from the next subnet to determine what the broadcast is. And then take one away from that to determine the last host on the subnet.